Good morning and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, this isolation is getting to be a little bit stir crazy, but I'm trying to find various projects to work on at the moment. And um, so one of my little projects, because we've got a great grandson coming on July 21st, and I hope that my kids are going to come on here and say hello. I think they will. Um, we'll just give it a minute because I can see I'm live, but I haven't seen any eyeballs up there yet to say whether anybody's come on yet. So uh, anyway, just to say, I have a little great grandson coming on July 21st, and there's one person on I see. Say hello. Hey Maureen, how are you? I hope you're feeling okay. You've been through a heck of a lot. So uh, thanks for the update today. It was good to see what's happening. Time seems to be going so quickly and um, sometimes we don't get a chance to get in touch with some people. Hi, Monica. Hi. I won't start just yet. I'll wait until a few people come on here. Monica Heaney, she's made my lemon lime cheesecake and she's passing it out to her neighbors. An act of love. That's good. Spread the love, Monica. Spread the love. Hey, Lorraine, I thought you had a meeting. Look what I've got here, Lorraine. Arbonne chocolate protein powder. That's what's going in my pancakes today. That's one of my ingredients. My friend Lorraine, she's an Arbonne, Arbonne consultant. So, hi, big shout out there, Lorraine. Who else is on? Oh, Joanne, I loved your video the other day when you cut up your vegetables and you were showing us how to seal them. That was fantastic. Loved it. <laughs> I'm going to go back and watch that again. That was a good little tip you gave there. Uh, immersing the a Ziploc bag in water to get all the air out so you can freeze the vegetables. Because we don't want to be wasting anything. Hi Cameron, how are you? <laughs> I wonder if your friend's going to sneak on here. I'll just keep watching for a minute. <laughs> and see if she comes on. What did, uh, Monica, what are you saying there? Oh, <laughs> you licked the bowl clean. I made lemon lime cheesecake uh, yesterday and Monica Heaney, she made one for her neighbors to spread the love. So that was really nice. It's an easy recipe. Hi, Jane. How are you? That's my daughter-in-law on there just now, Jane Calder. Nice to see you, Jane. Thanks. I just missed Nicholas. I know he said hi to me yesterday when I did my lemon lime cheesecake, but he... He, I missed him on there. So, And Karen from Australia. Hi there, Karen. Great to see you. My night walker, my favorite night walker. She's probably about 11 or something hours ahead of us. So, yeah. You must be up late, Karen. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. I was thinking about you the other day. Hi, Tammy. How are you? So, anyway, we have a great-grandson coming on July 21st. And, of course... Uh, one of my projects that I enjoy doing when I haven't got anything else to do, which is almost never, is <laughs> crocheting. I know I don't look like the crocheting or knitting type, but yes. So, here we go, Jane and Nicholas and Emma and Louise. I have been knitting squares, and unfortunately I only had pink, pink wool and white wool. So this little baby boy is going to be getting a pink and white blanket. <laughs> so I'm busy, busy with my squares at the moment. I'm getting there. I've got a whole bag full now. So you can see what I do in my isolation is I'm knitting and crocheting squares to make a baby blanket. So I have plenty of hobbies. I have sewing as a hobby as well. So this, this just gave me a little fun and I thought... Emma would be tickled pink at a pink and white baby blanket for her baby boy. I don't think it matters much, does it? Hi, Nick. How are you? And Aileen, great to see you. Aileen, I tried to call you the other day. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get through on your mobile, but I'll try you again today, later on. Um, yeah, I wanted to have a little chat with you, see how you were all doing. <laughs> so anyway, this is uh, basically a pretty easy recipe. And... Uh, First of all, I want to tell you what spurred this on. Cameron Ross, my friend, who uh, is at the Prestonfield House Hotel, he has a very good friend called Catherine Doyle, 
and it's her 30th birthday coming up and he's unable to get out to her and he asked me if I would do a little video and specially dedicate it to, to her. So Catherine, this video is for you. Uh, he told me a lovely story that you both watch my videos at work in your spare time, which is wonderful and you like to watch. So I've got a little present for you, Catherine. Is a copy of Mary's Kitchen Cookbook for your birthday, for your 30th birthday, and a very happy birthday to you. So these pancakes, my chocolate protein, uh, chocolate uh, blueberry pancakes, they have protein in them as well, um, is dedicated to you today for your 30th birthday. And Cameron just gave me a great idea. Because we're all stuck indoors here, if you have a special occasion. I, I was so take I was so taken that he asked me to do a special video for his friend. Hey Vincent, how are you? Oh, my friend Vinny in Ireland, how are you? Um, I was so taken that he asked me to do a special video for his friend Catherine Doral, who's of course they're both uh, stuck inside in different locations and they can't have a birthday together. So Catherine, this is for you, it's your 30th and I'm gonna get this over to Cameron somehow, somehow through the post uh, and uh, write your wee message in here. So that's for you from, from Cameron and I. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this uh, recipe that I'm doing today is uh, chocolate blueberry pancakes. It's really fairly easy. And it's so nice to see so many of you jumping on. Oh, Karen's saying happy 30th, Kath Catherine. I don't know if Catherine managed to get on. <laughs> Cameron, did she manage to hop on? I don't know. I don't know whether you got hooked up with her in time for her to hop on the video, but I hope that she manages to come on. But anyway, I'm going to pass that on to you. Cameron, a copy of my book, uh, and um, you can give her that for her 30th birthday present. All right? Um, so first of all, it's so nice to see many, so many of you, and I guess we're all stuck indoors. Vinny, I hope you're out in your garden, and uh, lucky to, for the people who have gardens, they're lucky to have them at times like this. But in particular, I think it's supposed to be a very nice weekend, and they're so scared that people are going to start going crazy and get on the road. So stay indoors, okay? Stay safe and stay indoors. So just to bring a bit of sunshine into your kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make, this is a chocolate blueberry pancake. It's a very healthy version and uh, it's a good brunch. So you can have it in between breakfast and lunch. So first of all, it's a half a cup of oats. Now I'm not really a huge measurer, so I'm just going to sort of guess three of those. That'll do. And what I need to do first is I'm going to make these fine. These are, um, I like, hey, Vinny, you'll love this. These are my Irish oats, quick oats. <laughs> and uh, Fla, Fla, Flahav, I don't know how to say that name, Flahavans. I like these. I bought these in Asda and I really like them. And I buy a huge bag and I buy one of these. And then I keep pouring the huge bag into these. So these are great oats. I love them. I eat them for breakfast most, most days. So I'm going to grind these down a little bit to make them a bit fine. Okay, so we've got more of a kind of a flour here. There we go. Now my friend Lorna, Lorna, you have your Aldi Ambiano little mini food processor. So get it out on your kitchen counter there. Oh. <laughs> yes, Jane. Sorry, I'm just reading what Jane was writing there. She's, yeah, <laughs> she had me on uh, a big screen there. Yeah, we can't wait for the wee boy. So I hope the wee boy doesn't mind a pink and white uh, blankie because that's all I had was pink wool that I found in a bag. And I thought, oh, well, let's start making some squares and that'll be nice, nice to do. Mary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Karen, Karen Peterson, she's always commenting on my special measuring system, although I do have my Tupperwares here. If you prefer to measure everything, this is a half a cup of oats, all right? So if you want to measure, it's a half a cup of oats in there. So that's nice and fine, as you can see, all right? It's like a little powdery now. That's what we want, is a little powder in there. These, this little piece of machinery, I convinced my friend Lorna to buy one. 
because it's really, really a great little machine. It goes both ways. And uh, it's only, it's a mini food processor. I've got huge pro food processors. I've got small baby food processors. And this one's sort of perfect for everything, um, for chopping up chilies or chopping up onions or chopping up carrots. It does everything. So I really, really like this little piece of machinery. Uh, you can get it in Aldi, and I think it's like $14.99 or something. It's really, really, and I don't get paid for saying that. I just really, really like this. This is a, this is a really good little piece of machinery. Um, we're going to put um, a quarter of a cup of fresh Greek yogurt, or you can use cottage cheese if you prefer. So, and let's do the Mary Kitchen School of Measuring, a quarter of a cup, so I'll say that's about two tablespoons. There we go. Oh, I dropped some on my, on my little induction cooker here. There, let me wipe that off. I don't like mess. Okay, and we're going to need one egg. Just one egg. Thank goodness, eh? Because eggs are hard to come by just at the moment. And my friend has been having difficulty finding flour. We'll just put that on there. And you can put a quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of Madagascar vanilla. That's what I've got here. If you want a little vanilla flavor in there, just put a couple of drops. Or if you have cinnamon, put some cinnamon in. So you can use, I've got about half a cup of oats there. I've got about a quarter cup of yogurt, or you can use cottage cheese. I've got one egg and a little bit of vanilla. So we're just gonna mix that up. Now if I think the mixture is too thick, I think it's okay though. Okay, we'll just wait till that falls down into the bowl a bit. So I think it's wet enough. If not, I had a little water here on hand to use. Now, what I'm also going to add here to make them chocolate, I'm going to add some Arbonne chocolate protein powder. And I'm just going to add, not a full scoop, I'm going to add about a half a scoop in there. And just to give them a nice chocolate flavor and also to put some healthy protein inside your body. There we go. So, there we go. We've got a lovely chocolatey mixture here. I'm just going to scrape that down. <clears throat> I'm going to take that out, my little beater because I just want to see what the texture of that is. And I am going to add a little touch of water because I want them to run nicely in the pan. So I'll just add a little touch of water and just mix that in there so that it pours nicely. I don't want it pouring too slowly. You see, sometimes you, you, you don't know what kind of oats people are using or whatever, and sometimes they can be absorbed more um, of the liquid. So we've got the egg in there and the yogurt. Or you can put another tablespoon of yogurt in, whatever you want. So I've got a nice sort of movable liquid here now that's going to be easy to pour onto my little um, induction cooker. Now, it's, they're blueberry, right? So we're going to add some blueberries. I'm not, obviously not going to turn the mixer on with the blueberries in. There we go. Now, if you don't have blueberries, don't worry about it. If you've got, say, some an apple or a banana, uh, you could put that in there. So now, the apple, what I would do is cut up the apple and put it in a little dish and put it in the microwave for maybe about 30 seconds, just to soften it up a wee bit and then put the apple in. Or put some, uh, whatever kind of fruit you have, let's not, um, go lemon and lime just now. That's a different recipe with lemon because we've got yogurt in here and we don't want the thing curdling up. Um, I'm going to just boil my pan with a little bit of, um, of coconut oil, virgin coconut oil. This is a non-stick pan that I'm using here. So it, it doesn't stick anyways, but I like to just a little bit of that in just to, to give it some 
um, free movement. Let's put, let me just put those things over there and bring this in. My old Tupperware things. <laughs> I've had those for over 40 years. No, maybe longer. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I told you I'd have to shoot you. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just take this off and we can just pour directly onto our pan. This is probably going to make about, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four. So it's just enough for one. If you want to make it for more people, double up on the recipe a little bit. Yeah, it's just going to make a nice three. So this is good for one portion. So just as I said, you can double up on the recipe if you want to make a little bit more. I don't want to waste anything. Normally I have my spatula here. There we go. And I've got that on a sort of medium temperature. I'm going to turn it down a wee bit. From my experience, I know that it cooks quite quickly. So, And I just want to see a few bubbles on the top there. I didn't even out the blueberries. So <laughs> there's maybe more in there and less in there and more in there. But that doesn't matter. That's the material. It's not that important. Um, then I'm going to show you how I present it. So basically we've got half a cup of rolled oats uh, and ground finely down. Okay, so use your food processor or Nutribullet, whatever you have. Let me just see who's on here for a moment. Hey Peg. Oh, thank you Joanne. Evelina, how are you? Evelina Arasimowicz, my sister over in Poland. <laughs> Yeah, we were supposed to be going over to Poland, Lucas and I, in uh, the middle of May for uh, Simon's uh, Christ, uh, not christening, confirmation, First Communion, First Communion, but I think we're delaying it now until October, uh, obviously. Okay, we've got a nice color going on. Don't be in a rush, okay, just let them set nicely. I see a few bubbles coming up. And uh, so, Catherine Doyle, I hope that you're going to enjoy these for your breakfast. Oh, thank you, Aileen. Thank you so much. And Claire Donahue, how are you? <sighs> Somebody, Vincent, saying hello, Tracy. Vincent O'Connor saying hello, Tracy. So if Tracy's on here, hello, hello. Uh, no, he's not getting out, Monica. Not very much. Um, so, we're going to turn these. Can you see my nonstick pan that I'm using here? It's so good. There. Beautiful. Beautiful. It turned out absolutely perfect. So, Cameron Ross wishes that he could make Kathleen Doyle these for her breakfast brunch, but he's unable to, so he wanted to make sure that he did something special for her and he asked me if I would do this video. Which gave me another idea that if you've got a special occasion and you want a special meal made for somebody and you'd like me to do it for you here live in Mary's Kitchen, please just ask me. Send me a private message. I'd be happy to do that for you. I've got a cookbook here too. I don't know if you, if you don't have a copy. It's a good time to think about getting a copy. A lot of my friends on here already have one. It's all full of pictures and beautiful recipes which are simple and easy to make. You can go on to my new website which is www.maryjoancalder.com and you can easily buy one on the site by just pressing a button there. It's very, very simple. You can also join into my other social medias, my Facebook, my Pinterest, my Instagram and my YouTube. If you go on my YouTube, please subscribe and ring the bell, then they notify you. Ah, YouTube. It's a funny old business, YouTube. Okay, just a few more minutes. I'm gonna turn that up a wee bit. So this is my brunch today. Blueberry and ch chocolate pancake. And I'm just gonna show you how I present this on the plate in the moment. Hear them sizzling nicely. Just want to make sure to cut. Oh, I got a little blue through there. A little blue from the blueberry. 
so yeah, we're all kind of stuck at home trying to look for projects and things to do. Um, which, just make sure the bottoms are cooked. And uh, mine is a little bit of uh, crocheting. Well, a lot of crocheting, I should say. <laughs> I need quite a lot of those squares to make a blanket. Hey, Lorraine. Thank you very much. Lorraine's saying she loves my cookbook. And Lorraine, well, I love my chocolate protein powder and my vanilla protein powder. And Lorraine's uh, Arbonne does a lot of beautiful nutritional um, foods and items now, which is well worth looking into, along with their beautiful skincare, which I use all the time. So, okay, so we've got our little pancakes done. Yep, they're ready. And what I'm going to do is turn that little thing off, put them on here, and then I'm going to show you how I decorate them to make them really nice. Hey, we're still talking healthy here. We haven't done anything wrong yet. <laughs> so what I do next is I'm going to pour, no, I'm going to put a little dollop of yogurt on here first. I'm going to put a little few blueberries, just showing you how I present this. I'm going to put some, this is my favorite kind of peanut, pecans. I love pecans. And I'm going to put a few of them on, but break them up. And then I've got another little lovely little item here. It's some milled linseed, and it's got sunflower, pumpkin, chai seeds, and goji berries. I'm going to do a little sprinkle of that on top. There. And I'm going to put a little maple syrup. Canadian 100% maple syrup. So it doesn't get much better than that. So, brunch is served. There you go. Chocolate, blueberry, healthy, very healthy pancakes topped with a little bit of Greek yogurt, some more blueberries, and some pecans or whatever nuts you have there, and a little bit of, if you have chai seeds or flax seed or linseed, whatever you have, you can put them on. So let me just see who's on. Kathleen, how are you? Angela, great to see you. I'm so glad you came on. You can make these pancakes for Michael now for his brunch. All right, they're pretty easy to make, but the proof is in the taste, okay? because I haven't made these ones before. I've made banana pancakes. I have another recipe for banana pancakes, which I passed on to my friend Lorna there. <coughs> Maureen's saying pecans are her favorite too. So let's just taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Totally recommend. I've got another recipe for... Um, Sorry, sorry I'm eating in front of you and I hope I'm not making you jealous. And I know Jane told me earlier she didn't have all the ingredients to make these, but it's really not much. If you've got oats um, and uh, if, if you don't have yogurt, that's going to be a bit of a problem. If you have an egg, you can maybe put a mashed banana in there rather than the yogurt. And a little bit of water that would work so I'm sorry to make you jealous that I'm sitting here eating <laughs> so Kathleen Doyle I wish you a very happy 30th birthday and thank you friend Cameron Ross for doing this special video for you he requested it especially for you uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it and as I say if you have any other special in uh, events coming up and you, obviously none of us can get out to celebrate them um, please let me know and I'm happy to do something special here on video and share it with you so have a wonderful day remember if you see someone without a smile give them yours but you're gonna have to save that one because you're not going to be seeing too many people just now are you so um, just have a wonderful day as best you can if you have a garden get out in your garden smell the roses um, or take a walk around the block or a walk somewhere and uh, 
do the best you can. Stay safe. Stay at home. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming on. Bye.